Good morning, today is January 5th, and yesterday I did not do any vlogging. I just went to work, uh, worked about seven hours, and that's pretty much it, and got my drone video up. Today is not nearly as magical as it was two days ago. It is now above freezing, it's about two degrees out, and as you can see, it's started to rain. So, all the snow will be gone fairly shortly here. So Laura is about to go to work, packing her little lunch. She was sick, but she looks like she's recovering, just in time for Vegas. Gonna gamble her little booty off. Laura is just headed out to work, and I'm just checking my emails here. And every now and then I get really, really cool messages from people who watch my videos. And I just got one here from a guy named Lewis. He was telling me how he was just in Bangkok, Thailand. Uh, I guess they were hanging out in their Airbnb, and then they were watching my videos and realized that the ghost tower I had gone to was like just a couple blocks away, and so they headed there. And I guess they got some really amazing pictures and they absolutely loved it and said so they watched the sunset while sipping a beer on top of the ghost tower. That's like my favorite thing to hear is when I hear that my videos, you know, not only entertain someone but actually showed them something they wouldn't necessarily have done otherwise. Like right after I ended my Q&A I got like another 12 questions so I won't answer them all because like that could take another 20 minutes. I'll just pick a few that I think are really useful. Also, I forgot to mention, yesterday I hit 10,000 subscribers on YouTube, so thank you so much everyone, like, it's unbelievable. I wish I had a cool celebration story, but unfortunately I just worked, and Laura was gonna do a little something for me, but she was sick, so she slept and I worked. Hey guys, my name is Taryn, I'm from Toronto, Canada. I'm planning on backpacking with my best friend to Thailand in March, and I wanted to know how safe do you think it is for two girls to backpack through Southeast Asia? Hey Taryn, that's an awesome question, and basically you have nothing to worry about. I mean, I've seen girls traveling alone, I've seen lots of girls traveling in groups of two, and I've never heard any issues. Southeast Asia is not really any different than traveling in Europe or traveling in North America. It'd be totally good. I use Final Cut Pro X. Uh, I always shoot in 1080p and I use 30 frames per second, only 60 if I'm doing slow-mo. Right now I'm trying to find some music for my vlogs because I can't just keep using copyrighted music. And this song I just found is so sick. I love this beat. On Friday, three days from now, me and four other buddies are going to go up to my timeshare. So every, I don't know, we probably have two weeks of the year where we have this cabin in Whistler. And Whistler is like a beautiful ski resort. It's up in the mountains and it's just stunning. So you guys will get to see it for yourselves. My drone video I put up just got featured on Van City Buzz, which is like a Buzzfeed, but just for the Vancouver area. But it's already got 593 shares and it hasn't been very long, like less than 20 minutes. Swag. There's my video. Yay! So this animation here, I actually designed it myself. Using YouTube, you can pretty much teach yourself to do anything. And I went on YouTube and learned how to do animations. How you do an animation is you put like 20 or 30 photos together and they go really quickly and you can kind of make it look like the image is actually moving. So in this case, I just made 20 versions of the bike with the spokes and the pedal in different places. And boom. There you have it, Bob's your uncle. I'm sitting here in front of my computer on Final Cut Pro X. A lot of you guys have been asking me what I edit with. I use Final Cut Pro X. And this here is a mic Laura bought. It's kind of strange looking, but it does the job. I just got an email from a prospective, I don't want to call them a client, but a company that I may be working with while traveling. So I'm going to meet with their creative director tomorrow and depending on how things go, I will maybe disclose more information later on who it is and what it's about, but in the meantime, I'm gonna keep my mouth shut and hope the meeting goes well tomorrow and see what they have to say, because right now I just know a basic idea of what they're looking for, but uh, yeah, pretty exciting. All right, my video has now been shared 1.7 thousand times. <laughs> That's not the crazy part. The crazy part is that I just got contacted by CBC News and CTV News, and they're both gonna be using my clip tonight on their six o'clock news. And I'm gonna guess at least 100,000 to 500,000 people will see my video tonight, so. I'm finally on the news, people. There I am. <laughs> Is that Laura? No. Alright, people. Let's get to the real news. Nobody cares about the economy. <laughs> she can use her smartphone to see what's inside the fridge. So you could literally sit on the couch and check if there's ice cream. You know, what's the world coming to? The news is done in 20 minutes. They're obviously saving the best for last. 
Exactly. Way too fast for me. But uh, they did it. Yeah, it's a little pond near the Serpentine River out in Surrey. And they even threw a drone up to give them that uh, kind of panoramic view. Yeah, more Canadian than that. Yeah, and guess what? You get some of that drier weather back over the... Some slight credit for like half a second. Oh my gosh, is that it? Really? So that is one of the stations that use my video. Let's see if the other one gave a bit more airtime or a bit more credit. Alright, so my story is just after the cat in the box. Really, really busy day on the news. Alright, here we go. CBC, give me some love. Some pretty picturesque scenes. Uh, like these. Uh, take a look, full screen here. Uh, this was posted to Facebook over the weekend in South Surrey. Okay, that's not mine. Enjoy some Where's my video? <laughs> well, that has to be the biggest fat joke I've ever seen. So two newscast stations contacted me. One of them, like, they both did, like, full-length interviews, like, why did you film this? Where did it happen? Blah, blah, blah. I was like, oh, yeah, there'll be, like, you know, like, a full, like, at least a one-minute, maybe 30-second segment on my shots. I was kind of excited. I was like, this will be pretty cool. One station waited for the last like 30 seconds of the six o'clock news and they showed like maybe 10 seconds, a bit less. The other station used a totally different video of the lake. I don't know what happened there. It's surprising, but that's okay. I can still make my title. I made it onto the news. I've said it a few times now, but I get like some of the nicest fan mail and you know just sincere comments from people But tonight I got the most meaningful and deep message I've ever received from someone about my channel this couple uh, They were really close and then they had to go separate ways because one guy was going to school on a scholarship Another girl was going to a different school and so they did the long distance for a while But then it got really hard on the relationship uh, He was telling me basically how like the relationship was in shambles and like not doing very well But through watching my vlogs on FaceTime together They were able to keep their long distance relationship strong So I mean I don't even know how to react to something like that because when I create these videos and when I post them I, I obviously don't have any idea how they might impact someone or the value that they might bring to someone but to hear something like that was just mind-blowing I mean incredibly flattering and honoring I don't know what to say it's just incredible to uh, to know that my videos are actually helping people so I thank you guys and uh, I'm glad to hear that your relationship is now going very strong my family has left for Whistler now so I have the place to myself you know what I'm gonna do? Throw a friggin' wild party. <laughs> you guys ready to party? Yeah. You ready to party? You ready to party? Maybe wind it down there, Guinness. You're getting a bit out of control. So now that I have the bachelor pad to myself, I gotta make myself a bachelor meal. I'm a terrible cook, so I really don't know what I'm gonna make. Probably be craft dinner. Crafting is good though, so I can't complain. I really want to get personal for a second, guys. Like, I know you guys have kind of gotten to know me a while, and there's something I have to tell you guys, and uh, I don't know. Like, it's really, it's a hard thing to talk about, and I've, I've been meaning to push, just not talk about it, but it's just something that I need to say. I, I actually like Nickelback a lot. I think Chad Kruger is a, a good singer. You do know. They don't want you to have fried eggs for dinner. They don't want you to. We gonna have it. We gonna make it. We gotta stay focused. Major key for eggs. Pre-shredded cheese. Major key. So I just got picked up by Laura. And she goes to Vegas tomorrow. She bought herself a little treat to celebrate her treat. A 70D. That is a nice camera. Because I'm a ritual bitch. Listen, I've thought about this for a long, long time. I've saved up my money. Okay. Out with the old. Get rid of it. <laughs> Top. The last time there were so many cannons together, it was World War Two. Actually, that's World War One. There's no cannons in World War. That was an awful joke. It's actually pretty good though. Like, yeah, that was decent. Great. Lisa just hit a big milestone. 1473 on Instagram. <laughs> Lisa underscore Reed. No, no, it's not. <laughs> no, no, don't no, take it back. What is it? So you said A-Raid. The moment of truth. The new camera. Watch it like not turn out. She was using a T4i before this and now she's got the 70D. Do you want to repeat that? 
Okay. So Laura's just telling me how much better this camera is going to be for photo shoots, and uh, she had a little something to say. I said what I struggle with when shooting kids. By that I meant I do photo shoot for a kids drink, and so I go with blogger, mom bloggers, and I take photographs. Hide your kids, and I will see you guys tomorrow. <laughs>